Good afternoon, my lovelies. Aren't you lucky I got my dead kitten on because it is very windy. See the wind? Can you see the wind? Look at that. It's blowing. It's getting soft now again. And then it sort of goes, stops, and oh, now it's strong again. But anyway, okay, look at that, the backyard. So, it is not conducive for doing gardening. <laughs> so I got my excuse for being lazy. No, I'm not lazy. I'm doing other stuff inside, like replying to a comment. Anyway, I got a, well, I replied to a very nice message on, hang on, I should really go here because I am going here. I should, I was, oh gosh, that wind, oh. I'm just going to remove my dead kitten so you can hear. This is what I have to put up with. That is just noisy, 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 very noisy. And hang on, I just saw something very nice. Noise. It's noisy, but this is noise. My <laughs> oh, hang on, I'll put this back. Okay. See, noisy. Sorry, sorry about that. No, okay. There you go. That is much better or good. Now, this is gorgeous. This is angel's tears. Look at you, you're coloring up. When it's hot, the color disappears. When it gets cold, they come back. And now it's springtime, so they'll be sitting in the middle. They color up nicely again and starts going dull again. So I shouldn't be putting this here. I should really put this somewhere. Oh my goodness, that. Ah, chichi koksi. I should really put this somewhere where it's not getting direct sunlight. Now, this one's here. I'm going to go back to the comment later on. But anyway, to Kathy's comment. Kathy, I'm just going to call her Kathy because that's her name. But... Uh, she sent me a message on Instagram and this is... <laughs> See how I jump from one topic to another? Now, this one is a Chavaria. What are you? Exotica. Exotic. So this is sort of yellow. The leaves are yellow. So this is a Lawi. This is a Lawi hybrid of some sort. But this one, okay, this is so strange. This is mother and chicks or hens and chicks and baby and mummy or Semper Vivum. Semper Vivum. Uh, are you Fitonii? I think Fitonii. That one. So hang on. Do you still have your original? No, it's not. I already replanted it. When I bought it, it was only that center one there and it had a baby the baby shoot off and look at the baby the baby doesn't look like the mummy can you believe that so maybe this is a hybrid and it reverted back to its normal form but anyway all the babies now so the mummy uh, is still alive it's a good thing that I'm showing you this video now this is to show that plants they can revert back they can go back. They can do whatever they like. They do whatever they like to suit the environment that they're in. So whether it's because of the soil that I put it in or where it's placed or where I placed it or maybe it's the plant's biology wherein it's just meant to do that. It just sort of uh, throw back, basically. It throws it back to where it came from. So now maybe the original plants look like that and now they have uh, hybridized it into this, which is gorgeous. And I do have this Fitone. I actually love that plant. I have the first one. This is my oldest one here. I haven't even, uh, what do you call that, uh, watered this one for a long time. I forgot. But anyway, that one is a different one. Okay, it's a bit dark, isn't it? But that one there, okay, I can't see. Yes, can you see that? Hopefully you can see because the sun... There you go. So that one there has been the mummy, my original plant. And from that, I already took some babies. And the babies is just huge. I'll bring you to the babies later on if I don't forget. But anyway, the reason why, oh, winter. Are you winter? Yes, winter red. Oh, Semper Vibum. I love Semper Vibum because they have natural, beautiful colors. But the only problem with Semper Vibum or some Semper Vivum, 
is that they are loved by mealy bag because I kept them dry. I find that if they're watered regularly, the mealy bag don't like them. So this one here, Semper Vivum Reward, look at that. So that's mealy bag. And if I spray that with my metho, see, look at that, it's just there. But the color is beautiful. So I don't really, it doesn't really worry me because again, the soil is dry despite the fact that it's been sitting out here. So they do require a lot of fertilizer as well. So fertilize your Semper Vivum. So I would just give this, I used to give this, this one hasn't been fertilized for like a year or two years, <laughs> to be honest with you. I haven't fertilized my Semper Vivum for a couple of years because I forgot. Every time I say I'm going to fertilize it and then I forget. And anyway, uh, because I have a very busy life, I've got lots to do. Now, anyway, and <laughs> doing these videos doesn't help. Oh, what are you? Oh, this is, I can't remember what you are. This is, I think, uh, a miniatured, a miniatured Lola. Look at that. I, if I'm, I lost the label. So anyway, maybe that's a miniatured Lola. I have to find another miniatured Lola just to confirm. But I'm sure there's a little, my formerly, my, my Derenciana, which formerly was Lola. So anyway, so Lola 1, I should just say. Lola 1 and Lola 2. So this is from my Lola 1. So this video is called my first succulent puppy. Okay, as in baby. Because puppy is like a dog. But doesn't matter. Pups. We call it pups? Okay, let's settle pups. So my first succulent pups. Now, can you remember your first succulent pups? Because I can't forget my one. So I've shared this story with Kathy on Instagram. And now I'm going to share it with you. The very first time I found a succulent pup that I've grown myself. Okay, not from someone else. I just, it was a Francesco Baldi. <laughs> and I didn't know then that Francesco Baldi grows so fast. And it's just that you pluck it in the morning and the afternoon you're gonna have a pimple so anyway no but it's not that fast but it takes about say in one week within one week you will see a pup and in two weeks time it's already a mature plant so francesco baldi grows so fast so anyway so the first one i had was a francesco baldi and then I took that little baby, like little Francesco Baldi. Anyway, I'm just going to keep this moving because you're thinking, okay. So I took that little Francesco Baldi. And then I ran inside and I showed my husband and I said, whoa, 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 look at this, look at this. And then he was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? And I said, there's a baby. I said, and he was like, what baby? What baby? And I'm like, this baby, can't you see that? Oh my goodness, you're blind. So anyway, long story short. I was so excited with that Francesco Baldi and so I have an affinity to my Francesco Baldi because I have so many of them there are so many Francesco Baldi but that was my first pup experience or succulent pup experience but anyway today as I was going through my garden I was actually bringing out a plant I forgot where I put it but anyway, there was a plant that's dying inside. Oh, this one. Hang on. I'll show you. This is my miserable looking Pachypodium son sondersii or something like that. Anyway, this is planted in a plastic pot still. And I got it on my Master Succulent Soil Mix. And I put it in cement pots. This is why I don't like cement pots. And look, so it it's holding moisture. You can see the level of the wetness that's still sort of wet. Uh, anyway, long story short, I had this growing inside and cement pot, they have this really horrible smell. So when I went to check on this this morning, because I'm about to, I always bring them out during springtime. So it's springtime here now. And I meant to bring it outside. And when I picked up that pot, oh, the horrible smell of that cement. So it's the lime. I believe the lime's not good for your plants. But anyway, this is not doing very well. My other plants or similar plants, my Pachypodium, I got another Pachypodium inside, uh, similar, well different looking than this one, is very healthy compared to this one. So this one as well, 
it's really soft like the the codex where the water is stored so you can see little roots there so this one I actually transplanted or repotted it last year and oh, a few months ago before uh, at the end of summer I think summer if I remember correctly and also tied it up with this one and so it's still alive it's not dead look there's still new growth if you don't believe me it's still alive I haven't killed it and so I believe that this is struggling because of this cash pot or a saucer pot, pot saucer or whatever planter that it's in. So they need to have some air circulation, I believe. Like most of the plants that dies, I believe it's because if you have double pots like this and there's no gaps or no room, like say, see, look at that. Look how nice and not nice, how tight that is. So what happens is air can't circulate and it gets really muggy. So it's a bit like really, oh, I, all I can see a smell is like really horrible smell. So anyway, so it's not good for the plant. So that means they're not getting any circulation, which means they're eventually gonna suffocate and die. So it's like carbon monoxide poisoning or something like that. So now let's go back to my pups. So this is my bluebird cuttings that I've taken from, I've done a video of head chopping the bluebird. That was the 8th of May. So that was like four months ago. So let me count first. Uh, May, June, July, August, September. That was four months ago. Oh, I don't even know how to count. Four months ago. It's September now. Yeah. Oh, yes, September. Okay. Uh, I, forgot, I remember something, but I don't want to mention it. But anyway, because that would just upset me. But anyway, this is four months ago when the leaves were taken. And today I have to salvage this because it was strewn all over my shelves there. The container where I placed it in got blown over by the wind. And so I just gathered them all up and put them in this container. And when I put them in this container, I nearly died with happiness because look at that so this one has got a baby oh my god and it's white i mean i know you're not supposed to have white but i reckon they were just covered by the other leaves that's why they went white and they will revert back to normal color which is white <laughs> the bluebird what call a bluebird bluebird when it goes red when exposed to the sun so now i've got <laughs> one bluebird two bluebird now i have three bluebirds three little bluebirds sitting on my hand now okay is there another one let's see okay oh another one another one so i got four pimples i call them pimples this is another pimple now i'm excited about these pimples you know why because I have a variegated bluebird and it's still alive, grown from a leaf. I'm so proud of that because I grew it myself. But then that one took about eight months to show up. So anyway, I'm looking him now. I can't find any more pimples. And that one is about to steal. So I've got so that tiny little bit of callus area there. That's actually a sign of little pups emerging like this one. So there's no roots. And yet, this is what you got to watch out for. So even that one there, so that's been pulled off, hang on. I'm just examining it with my eagle eye. But then that one hasn't got a pimple yet or doesn't have a pimple yet. And so I'm just going to go and check this. But anyway, out of, look how many leaves there is. See that? So you've got, okay, I'm going to put this down in here. And my coffee is cold again. Look. It's already coagulated. I got one, two, three, five. Oh, don't see, see the wind just, <laughs> look, it's being blown by the wind. Don't blow my babies away. Okay, so out of three, six, 27, 29, 30, say roughly we'll round it up to 30. Five has grown, oh my goodness, don't see, look, it's being blown around. Five has grown a pup. Ah, okay, you pups, you stay here. And don't get blown off so now I have to make a label again for that one to see when that's gonna grow so anyway so do you can you remember your first pup how excited you got because I am excited right now there's my variegated blue over there but I thought I'm seeing something but just to make sure there's a little bit of whiteness there 
Okay, there you go. I just sprayed with my metho. And so now we can have a better look at you. And also that helps to prevent it from getting mealy bugs. So every week or once a week, once every two weeks, I come here and check. And if I feel that there's some suspicious things going on, I spray it with my metho. It doesn't hurt it, but if it gets mealy bug, it will hurt it, it will kill it. So that one now is just so precious, so cute. The color has lightened up compared to how it was when it was grown inside under the grow light. But the main thing is it's alive. And the fact that half of it is white or sort of yellow, uh, white is not good because if it's white, they can't absorb chlorophyll. The other side of it is still darkish color. That's what's going to absorb the chlorophyll. But anyway, so it's still going to have like only getting fed half halfway so it's like that's why it's gonna stay slim so it's not gonna get fat like I am right now all this COVID fat I have oh my goodness okay anyway so this is my Francesco Baldi here that yellow one is lemon <laughs> under the lemon tree I did not plant this Francesco Baldi look there's weeds and I'm just looking for a baby pup do you have a pup because I just tend to throw the leaves into here. No, no, babies. Oh, oh. Okay, so no leaves are grown. Where I'm gonna find a leaf is probably. Oh, see, that one got knocked off from the top. Oh, here in the bottom. <gasps> Look. Do you please show me a pimple so I can show these good people here? <laughs> How excited I was when I saw that pimple. Oh, no pimple. Anyway, I'll throw you in there. Aha, uh -huh, that's why it's because no pimple because it's just end of winter. We're just coming on to spring. But this one got broke, broken off. Look. And there's roots growing. So you just break it off and it drops. I probably hit that when I was walking through here. And so no babies. No babies right now. No pimple. But there's already a few babies that's growing here. That's from a Francesco Baldi look. Oh, okay. So, okay. Oh, that's actually one leaf. Oh, I thought one leaf with two heads. It's only one leaf with one baby. <laughs> that was from another leaf. <laughs> they're, they're, they're sisters from another mother. But anyway, this one now see that's the pup growing oh look there's another cute one there they're very easy to grow so if you say oh i'm having a hard time killing i mean killing <laughs> growing succulents then the only way you can grow succulents is get a sedivaria starburst also known as francesco baldi what other names they're called or uh, frostbite here in australia i think they're also called frostbite they're all one in the same plant and i've bought so many uh, of them different plant names because of that but anyway so this one I'm just gonna throw it in there and that should grow now can you believe this baby came from that one desperate oh look <gasps> oh my goodness look it's looking different as well look at that can you believe that <gasps> oh my see they are throwbacks throwbacks Look, another one with a mealybug as well, courtesy of mealybug. Here, there you go. So, they do throw off, but this one I find mealybugs don't really like them. So, I never had. Look how big. Look, it's growing. So, hands and cheeks, if you want some funky looking plant and oh, crested. Ah, can it get better than that? Yes, it can. Variegated. <laughs> I'm asking too much. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, this one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Oh, it's like, oh, I thought it's like a crested uh, plant that's growing in there. It is like a cluster crested and it's just beautiful. And those ones, I'm hoping that they would variegate. And up the top there, another maybe cresting. So anyway, I love this plant. I haven't even cleaned this one. I haven't even watered it. I just left it here uh, in the shade. They prefer the shade better than not all Sempervivum, okay? It's just this one, this uh, species, this variety, Fetunai, loves being in the shade. And they sort of stay green like that. But I kind of like them because I'm more after the red tips. It kind of reminds me of 
my ebony's here. <laughs> Look at them, I reported my ebony's. And because I'm supposed to chop their heads off and make more babies and have more pups. But I decided now they're too pretty to head chop. I'm just gonna let the flower grow and get some seeds from that. So anyway, hopefully I can do a video on what to do with the flowers of the succulents. So that's it guys. This is another one here. Look, I need to clean this up as well. So there you go. That's all for now, my lovelies. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay, bye for now. I got lots to do. I got lots of exciting things to show you. And look, done a little bit of cutting and cleaning up. Okay, and this one's, I've been, anyway. <laughs> yes, I'm very busy. And yes, I haven't forgotten my coffee this time. I actually finished it. Oh, better not forget this one.